Okay, let's install Laravel. Let's open up browser. I'm gonna search Laravel. We're gonna go into documentation. And here is gonna tell you what you're gonna need. So first thing let's install composer. I'm gonna click on getting started. Um, there's a lot of good uh, documentation here too so you can see what it actually is doing how it works so if you want just give it a read but what we want today is just gonna be the global we're gonna click on download and here it's pretty easy just copy and paste this whole thing I'll take care of it. Let's open up a terminal. I'm going to paste it. Let's see what else. Now that that's done, we're going to move our composer. So just copy it, paste it. Um, I think you need to be sudo to do this, but let's just see. Yeah. So let's paste it again. Password. Awesome. I think that's it for composer. Should be done. So. Uh, a way to test this just type it in and there we go it's installed globally now let's keep going um, let's do this just copy it I'm gonna paste it Shouldn't take that long. Uh, let's see. Okay, well, thought we could do that first, but this is a good way to show what to do in case this happens. So let's see what version we're running on PHP. 7.0 and we need uh, 7.1 point something else. So the first thing we're going to do here is going to be sudo app get update. wrong password there we go now the next thing is gonna be sudo add app get well not app get add apt repository ppa Um, a PPA is just a uh, personal package archive. So we're gonna do this so we can uh, we're gonna add it so we can install PHP 7.2, I believe, right now. Just hit enter. 7.2. Point something else. Again, um, let's update. Awesome. Uh, now we're gonna do sudo add get install p 
PHP 7.2 <coughs> and I hit yes shouldn't take that long Alright, so it requires 7.1.3, we're installing 7.2, and we're going to uh, install a couple more extensions that we need, it's just going to be three, and should take care of it. Alright, that's still going. All right, I guess that did take a little bit longer than I thought, but let's see, PHP version, and there we go, 7.2.2. .2. Now another thing we're going to want is sudo apt get install php 7.2-sip php 7.2. Dash XML. Let's do one more. 7.2. This is going to be MB string. And I'm hoping this one doesn't take that long. Awesome. Alright, let's go back. Let's copy it again. Just 
paste it. Nice. That is what you want to be looking at. Awesome, let's see. All right, here is also another tricky part that a lot of people get stuck in, myself included, at the beginning when I was learning Laravel. So what we have to do is go into our bashrc file, which is just like our configuration file too. So sudo bim bashrc our password. We're gonna go all the way to the bottom, add a new line, and we're gonna do export path path home. It's gonna be our configuration, composer, vendor, and then it's gonna be bin. Sorry, there we go. Awesome. Uh, let's exit out. Relaunch our terminal. And hopefully, if everything went well, we should see that it works. Yes. So we have Composer and Laravel installed globally now. Now we can always go into our documents. Let's do Laravel new. Then let's just do the example blog. Awesome. That is also what you wanna see happening here. This is fast, so that's good. Awesome. Now we can see that it's right there. Let's just go into it. We can see a lot more files right there. We can do PHP artisan and then serve. And it's gonna bring up a uh, development server that starts uh, at localhost and then port 8000. So let's go see if it works. Localhost port 8000. There we go. It's working. Now, another last thing that um, we should always do is after any kind of like major or any sort of change you do to your environment, if you don't want to uh, lose it, if you're just exploring and trying out uh, different things. Just make sure to make a, or take a snapshot. Let's see, Laravel installed. Again, let's just say basic setup. It's gonna take it. And there we go. So now we have it, we can clone it. Same with each one. And if we do something where it just messes up our whole configuration, we can always go back to it. There shouldn't be any problems with it. So you need to power it off and then you'll be able to see the restore. You just click it and that's it. So there you go.